I'm not having much luck with new camcorders lately. I thought this new Canon Legera HF R47 was working right until I went to try and retrieve the files off it. Now most of the time in my experience, connecting a camera via a USB to a computer, it registers as a mass storage device and it's really easy. Plug in the USB and extract files using a file manager or some other picture viewing program if that's what you like using. But no, when I plugged this in, it didn't really work very well. It took me a few attempts and eventually it did start working but it was diabolically slow. It's almost as like the hamster inside the camera was on its last legs and needed to kick up the backside to make it move. But then I did a bit more research and found that it's probably using this picture transfer protocol, PTP. So I tried some programs in Linux namely this one, GTCam, and its command line counterpart, GPhoto2. Uh, well, GTCam wouldn't recognise it at all. I did a bit more research on it, and uh, there was a whole load of command line stuff, and it was starting to go over my head at about 11 o'clock in the evening, so I couldn't be bothered to go any further. GPhoto2 sort of worked, but it, again, it was running ridiculously slow. In the end, I found just the best way is to try and run it via the file manager. So, camera, two videos on here to try and retrieve, USB cable, plug it in to the side, and there. Now what's it going to say? What's it going to do? It's going to warn me that the lens cover is on probably. So what I want to try and do is turn off task in progress. Now it decides it wants to connect via the USB, does it? Try and turn back on. Anything now? Makes a lot of noise. Built in mem auto, yes. Check whether the lens cover's open. <laughs> I don't care about the lens cover. I'm trying to retrieve files. Uh, this is kind of how it went before. Uh, I tried a few times. I'm just looking at the display here. I can't really turn it around, and even if I did, it's going to be mirrored because as someone mentioned, yes, you can't really read what's on my shirt. It says NYC Gym, and what does it say? Bronx, since 1927. It's nothing to do in New York, though. I bought it in Swindon. Um, I think it would bloody work, wouldn't you? Ah, that was it. <laughs> Press the play button, obviously. Then it kind of works. So it says USB connection now. Again, I should have read the manual. I haven't read the manual yet. I was trying to leave it sealed up as best as I could now because I might not be keeping this camera. So, Canon video, choose what you want to do. Oh, Shotwell, that was the program I was thinking of to retrieve photos. Nah, don't want to open Shotwell. So, Canon video. The window, how old do you believe is. That's my music, that's another window. Shut up. <laughs> What's that got to do with anything? And now Nautilus has crashed. Oh. <laughs> Give me strength. <sighs> Probably people are going to go and blame Ubuntu now. Oh, Ubuntu always crashes. Yeah, yeah. Try it in your distro for this one. Try it in Arch and Gentoo and see what happens. Right. Oh, it's working. It's got, I've got something. I've got a folder. Yay! <laughs> Four items. Ooh. Shiny. Blimey. 1.2 gig. Did I record that many videos earlier? Uh, I'm just going to try and pull everything off. Pull them off, pull them off, pull them off, and we'll chuck them in my videos. Uh, <laughs> and you've got a load of videos I haven't done yet. Oh, that one's finished. That one's finished. I'm well behind. I've got these things planned. Just never got around to doing them. Naught seconds, naught bytes a second. Ah, it'll take an infinitely long time then. I just got to sit here and wait, and uh, oh, seven and a half mega second. Speedy. Come on, hamster. Kick up your backside and make your move. I think what I'm going to say to Curry's when I try and return this camera is that it doesn't work very well in low light conditions, and that the salesman there promised that it would work. Yeah, the greasy teenager promised that it would work. No, more like he tried to sell me a warranty. Yes, sir, for a £1.50 a month, you get 
accidental damage cover on your camera. Oh, like the £10 a month I'm paying for all the possessions in my house to be accidental damage covered. <laughs> Sounds a bargain, that does. And if I'm not sure it'll cover it, I'll just take it outside and accidentally, in quotes, <laughs> and drop it on the floor. <laughs> Smash it. Oh, insurance company, I need a new camera now. Uh -huh. That's what I did with my phone. And it worked. They just paid up. Uh, £160 to replace the display, and I had to pay the £50 excess, and they coughed up £110, and they just sent me a cheque, and it was as easy as that to get the screen replaced. I actually had to send it away myself and get it replaced, but yeah, that was kind of the fault, my fault for buying a phone that was brand new out at the time. Anyways, I'm just sort of waffling here, waiting for the damn... 30 minutes! 30 minutes! 30 minutes! Oh, this is intolerable. I'm not going to change operating system just for this either. Oh, actually, I do have Windows in the virtual machine, don't I? Do I have it? Yeah, Windows 7. I could have just opened that up, I suppose, and installed some drivers and waited absolutely ages for it to do something. No, why should I? I use Linux. I don't press upon the rest of the world to use Linux, so don't press me on to use another operating system. I'm going to leave that. Oh, and deleting them last night, off the, I had to do it off the camera. It wouldn't work through the file manager. I suppose no biggie, but when I get to do a lot of files, it's going to be a nuisance. So yeah, this is going to be returned. So that means when I do another unboxing, I'm going to have to do it with the crappy Sony bloggy camcorder, and it's going to look rubbish all over again. I'm still waiting for all the copying to finish. It's about halfway through now. Nine minutes left, 1.4 gig copied. Just a quick look here. Yeah, that chap's come out a little bit clearer, hasn't he? He's a bit more legible and the wall is whiter. So I guess it is managing okay-ish in the low lights, but Not quite as well as I might have liked, and that's come out pretty red. Oh, look, my hands are bright red. My hands aren't bright red. Nothing wrong with my hands. I don't have weird hands. Nicely smooth nails, considering I've never had a... Was it manicure, pedicure? I don't know, these are women's things, I don't know. I know guys have them, but I haven't done that. Oh, that's kind of ruining where I was going to go to, but... Um, yeah, that was kind of coming out, and... I mucking around with it. Look at this, it's not, not zooming properly, it's not focusing. Well, sorry, it zoomed properly, but it wasn't focusing. What was this? This just took, took me ages to get it focused. Even prodding the display to make it do something, and it just didn't. <laughs> that, that's an excessive amount of effort needed. I brought out, broke out a torch and I was trying that as well. No, it, it does eventually get it, but... Oh, there we go. So all I was trying to do was focus on a screw. It was probably about you know, 18 inches away from the camera, so it should have been able to focus on it. And that's the last one. That was a... My tablet. That came out pretty red as well. So, red balance. There we go. It'll be going back. Oh, it's actually that's finished now, isn't it? Ooh, didn't take half an hour. Okay, well, I just got to delete the files off the camera. Well, thanks for watching. See you later.